guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this beautiful wig. This wig was sent to me from my first wig. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. I am so excited about this video because I did have a few wig upgrade ideas that I ended up sharing with my first wig and they executed a couple of my ideas beautifully. So jumping straight into this video, the wig that I'll be wearing today is a 20 inch, 130% density, 13 by six lace front wig and the texture is yakky. As always with my first wig, the knots are virtually invisible and absolutely flawless. The knots have been deep bleached and the hairline is fully plucked already. So jumping into the good part, are y'all ready? This is the first wig of its kind. Are y'all ready? Hold on to your wig. Hold on to your seats. The nape of this wig is a tighter hair texture. So this wig is multi textured. The nape of the wig is a tighter hair texture. And not only is it tighter, but it's long enough to give realistic looking baby hairs. You can trim it down. If it's too long for you, you can curl it if you want to. You can leave it looking like that, which to me makes it look a lot more natural because when you're sweating or if your hair is up in an updo, sometimes your hair does revert back. If you are natural, this gives me the absolute natural nape wig that i have tried thus far y'all <laughs> y'all y'all i thought that this was something that was missing on the wig market and my first wig helped me execute my idea flawlessly y'all need to get this wig y'all <laughs> jumping straight into this tutorial of course the hairline is already pretty much done for us but i am going to tint the lace i have two different colors of lace tint that i do use on all of my wigs First color is the color of my foundation, which I spray along the hairline portion of the lace frontal. The second color is the color of my scalp, and I'll be spraying that along the inner portion of the lace frontal. I'm doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer for a custom color match. So now I am just going to cut away that extra lace in the back and then I am going to section off where the baby hairs are because I don't want that to come in contact with the heat. I am about to flat iron this hair. So I am going to bobby pin them down and then tuck the baby hairs underneath the wig cap. And then I'm going to grab my Bio Silk Silk Infusion Hair Serum, apply that to the hair and then in small sections, I'm going to flat iron using my Baby Bliss Pro Flat Iron. Now that I'm at the front of the head, I'm just going to grab this hair wax stick. This one is from Cara Care. Apply that to the hairline and then I'm just going to use a comb to comb that product through. Grabbing my pressing comb, I'm just going to smooth those hairs backwards, making sure everything is polished and sleek. So now it is time to cut away the extra lace. Grabbing a pair of scissors, I'm just gonna slit it down the center so that I can section it off into two different sections. Grabbing a pair of pinking shears, I'm going to carefully cut in front of the hairline to remove the extra lace. Grabbing the wig, I'm gonna place it on my head just to see how it's lining up. I wanted to make sure to try to wear this glueless with no adhesive. However, once I put it on my head, as you can see, the hairline is not matching up and the wig is too small for my head. Because of that, I did have to end up using some adhesive in the front. I did not use any in the back, but I am going to just apply some adhesive to the edge portion of the wig. And then I'm going to blow dry for a few seconds until that adhesive becomes tacky. And then I'm going to place it on my head again. Because the wig is too small for my head, I am not going to secure the back comb. I'm just going to make sure that the front of the wig is coming forward as closely as it can to 
look like it's matching up to my forehead, if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna put my headscarf on for about 15 to 20 minutes to allow that lace to set. As you can see, the lace is set, but you can still see my hairline because the wig isn't fitting. So I am gonna add some baby hairs, which I did off camera. And here is how the install look. It made a huge difference adding those baby hairs, but of course we know the secret is the wig don't fit my head. So we just gonna act like it does because the install came out super cute. The overall wig came out super cute. The styling came out super cute. So we're just gonna ignore that fact. Um, I'm just gonna style it now. It does have those nape baby hairs that I'm so excited about. I am gonna do an updo for this hairstyle. So at first I'm gonna do like a ponytail and then I'm gonna go in with a bun. And we're just gonna see which one you guys like best. So let me know down below in the comment section. I think this wig looks super natural. Like you can't tell that that's not my scalp. Look at the middle center parting. Like it looks so good. So, so, so good. Especially with this texture. It's such a cute look. I love it. I love doing updos with wigs from my first wig though. Like that's my favorite type of hairstyle to do. Especially when it's the yaki hair. Because they did leave a little extra lace on the back area where the nape baby hairs are, you can adhere it down onto the back of your neck so that it could be down for sure, for sure. But I wanted to show you guys that you do not have to do that. You do not have to use any adhesive in the back for your wig to stay down, especially if you don't have a 360 wig. You are always able to do an updo with a 13 by 6 lace front wig from my first wig. Um, so yeah, y'all, look, 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 look. That looks like my hair. I know it does. I know it does. Let's chat everything this wig down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Beige. Don't forget to comment down below so that I know you stopped by. Give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already subscribed. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. And yeah, guys, I'll see you all later. Bye. It's Beige Ozai. Yeah, that's right. It's Beige Ozai. Ay, ay, ay.